Hello, YouTube. We're back with chapter two of Life is Strange, Double Exposure. I'm very excited to get back in there. Chapter two. What is that word? Okay. What the fuck is happening? Well, it doesn't sound like the call was no big deal. It sounds like it was important to you. Sophie's alive. Did I... Did I actually manage to rewind time? I mean, it's gray area. Matt. Okay. Are you okay? Thanks, it Sharika. kind of seems like you're on drugs. Huh? Oh. Okay, see, now the little moon thing is yellow instead of blue. So we're in the yellow universe. Or timeline or whatever they call it. Just happy you're here. No, I'm just really happy you're here with me and your mom. <laughs> so, drugs then? Sorry, uh, what were we talking about? Somebody mentioned a phone call? Hmm, yes. I was shocked too. I didn't know people still answered their phones. Funny, mom. And yeah, it wasn't a big deal it was just from the publisher right your book the secret book i'm so proud of my girl publishing is always such a difficult endeavor thanks mom <sighs> is no one going to take our order it's been like a few minutes have you ever had a food service job like ever Let's give it another minute. I don't think they're ignoring us. They're just understaffed. Give her a minute. Amanda will spot us. Hello, Tony. You really should hire more hands. No need for standards to drop as soon as the students are gone for the winter. The whole place could use a facelift, to be honest. Come on, Yasmin. You don't have anywhere else to be? I need to ask Sophie about God. Where do I even start? I need to ask Sophie. So Sophie. So oh. Sophie about God. What is that? Uh oh. Oh shit. Dude, your nose. It's fine. Just a nosebleed. Um, back in a sec. Uh oh. I'm his, his username, all I do is Vin. <laughs> <coughs> That's funny. I'm glad we did this. This? This lunch. I do it every weekend. I know. It's nice. I still can't believe Safi is here, alive, having lunch with Yasmin as if everything is normal. As if I didn't see her die two days ago. In case this does all go sideways. It was supposed to be a candid. <laughs> You'll never catch me alive. Let's get them both. <laughs> oh, Safia, come now. <laughs> I swear, one day I'll get a candid of Safi. Oh yeah, let me see if the combo with Chloe is different in this universe or whatever. Is it what's the word for this? Universe, timeline. No, I think it's the same. I feel like everything up until Sophie's death would be the same. 
dimension, reality. This should all be the same. It splits off at Safi's death, I feel like, the differences. Yeah, split timeline. What am I trying to do? Ask. Oh, my best gets a noise. Wait, you mean entirely closed off? Yeah, there's police tape around it and everything. Oh, I'm I'm I'm, I'm in a shift point. Where's that sound coming from? Whoa. Going any of this? Oh. Oh. What? Gender neutral bathrooms. We love to see it. Can I just keep doing this? find the source of that humming if I look around. Gender neutral bathrooms. bathrooms. We love to see it. Do I... I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. Holy shit. Oh. I'm I'm back. Oh, okay. <laughs> in dead Dead world. This is so fucking crazy. There's another Amanda. If I can chat with both, then maybe I can figure out what's changed. Whoa. It's Whoa. just so sad. You didn't even know her. Oh, that's that cute guy. I can still think it's sad. And scary. Huh. What a fun power. I love it when you... I love a fun power, you know? That's why I love these games so much. He's my favorite background character. Okay, uh... Wait, is that him right there, too? Do they duplicate him? It looks like him. Is that not him right there and on the couch? They look alike, if not. Is it? <laughs> Hold on, let me see. He's cute. That's him. Maybe maybe he is maybe the twins. It is called double exposure after all. Okay. Max. You're here. I'm here. Surprise. You good? I'm okay. You really cheered me up earlier. Happy to line up my comedic stylings to girls in need. <laughs> Thanks. Are you here for... We already talked in her office. She seems to be doing... You know... Bad. God knows. I offered her free coffee for as long as she wants it. I gotta get back to it. Don't forget I'm here for you, okay? Thanks, Amanda. That's so crazy, and the, it's... I should on. cross over and talk to the other Amanda. The juxtaposition of Yasmin being alone first with her daughter, oh, is crazy. Oh, hi, Miss Caulfield. I'm sorry for your loss. 
Huh? You were close to Safi, right? Why are you like why are you looking oh. away from me? Yeah. Thanks. I appreciate it. Um, what did I want to say? Oh. Can I talk to her? Hi, Yasmin. Oh, Maxine. You're here. I'd invite you to sit down, but... Uh, I understand. Oh, yeah, true. And Moses did get a fast-forward ability. So that could help. Still even... I hate that they... You really think our assassins would be callous enough to continue? These people I'm again, the assassins. The off, did you? I'm on to you two. No. Besides, letting our guard down. I don't mean to. All right, I need to switch back and talk to the, the other Amanda. Just death rates on college campuses aren't zero. People die all the time. Do people get shot all the time? Oh my god. I guess not. Okay, let me get back over there. <gasps> Photo. I'll be taking that. No, Tony, I love it. I do. It's as thoughtful as ever. No, no buts. Only... <laughs> Tony! I know you. If you sent me a gift, it means you won't be coming this year either. Garbled voice? Oh, he's on the phone. Campus isn't unsettling. It's fun. But honestly, I wanted you to finally meet Safi and Max. You love them. Right. Next year for sure. And hmm. thank you again for the gift, Tommy. I mean it. I'll be back, babe. Oh. Whoa. Am I hearing oh. stuff from that other world? Max heard all I that? I didn't see Moses in the snapping turtle, though. This makes no sense. Whoa. I gotta find all these photos, then. I don't wanna miss any. There's probably just one here. Let me go back. Can I go outside? Is that him again? No, it just looks similar. Maybe they're using those glasses a lot. Or is that him? I feel like he has more of a beard. This one's got more of a beard. Maybe they just use like similar features. Triplets. I don't know. All right, let's get out of here. There he okay, is. Okay, so I can cross back and forth. That's good to know. Now I just need to work out where or when here is. Wow. I thought you got lost in a blizzard. Dropped your phone down a bottomless pit. Something. Uh, lost? Oh. No. You're right, I'm being passive aggressive. Sorry. It's just... You asked me out and then ignored my text uh... for 48 hours. Kinda sucked is all. Oh, so, so I asked you out. I mean, that's Whoa. how I interpreted it when you stood there two nights ago and said you wanted to go on a date. Two nights ago is exactly when I asked Amanda out. So I haven't gone back in time. Oh, shit. This Amanda never talked to me about slowing down our relationship because Safi isn't dead. So are you going to tell me what happened?
Don't say I was working. Shit. I was working. I get total runaway train tunnel vision sometimes. I'm so sorry. <laughs> ah, the old I'm a serious artist excuse. I didn't mean to make you feel like crap. Hey. Shit happens. I won't bug you about it. Just didn't love it. I should get back to Oof. work. Take it easy, eh? So if I didn't rewind, this is some kind of alternate reality. Okay. But I still talked to Amanda two days ago. So far, everything here seems basically. So she the was same, just not there. Except... Huh. So there's just one Max with two realities. Sophie and Yasmin are probably wondering where I am. Whoa. I should get back to them. How crazy is that? Let me, let me find um, photographs. I'm about to summon here. Is that not him too? Snapping turtle staff. Is all of this for that Krampus party? Who's performing? They just slap his- It's for the Krampus roast. His face everywhere. Oh man, is this your first time? Yeah, Krampus on campus is, um... Interesting. Like, is this not him yeah, over here? That. Is that your twin over there working? Oh, what's the soup of the week? Peanut soup was the nut natural okay. choice. Any photographs? Whoa. Ah, oh, this truly fills me with the holiday spirit. Spooky. Nice to see this place gearing up for Christmas. So in the happy alive world, they're decorating, but in the sad one, they're not. I don't see any photos. Honestly, Safia, I wish you'd have told me sooner. I was getting around to it. All clear? We don't need to get you a blood transfusion. Oh, I'm about. golden. Probably just the weather, you know? Oh, did the forecast call for massive nosebleeds? Yeah. Duty calls. Send me the bill for the windshield, please, Safia. Windshield? Another piece of shit pie. Someone... Hold on, it's easier if I just show you. Jesus. Fuck, Zafi, is that your car? Huh? Driving, right? Found it this morning. Oh, someone did that. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> what the hell? Do you have any idea who did it? It could be the person who occurred on the other no. universe. But if I ever find out, it's on sight. Through a skull they through her windshield. couldn't have a fight with the Volvo instead. <laughs> this is gonna sound bananas, but I feel like I've met this cow. You have. It's what? from right over there. Oh, okay. <sighs> Whatever, I gotta meet the tow truck. Wait, hold on. The broken horn. It looks like there was something written on it. Max, you know I adore you, but... Read the room, bud. I'm not really in the mood to stare at photos of my fucked up car all day. I just love yeah, a good mystery to figure out. How fun. When our Nancy Drew era. It's okay, Rathi. She's gone. Oh, tell me my proposal was shitty, Isabel. That I don't care about their drama. Face lie, right? Hold up. Sophie's alive in this world. Her car probably didn't get trashed in the other, right? 
she has time for lunch. Whoa. What does this do again? I'd love to be able to make my Oh, you can see the other universe. Ways back, but family Whoa. That's so cool. Okay, let's count how many cute guys clones there are. He's right here. That's one. If only I could get my hands on that cow skull. Two right here working this tree. Three over here. Four. I think there's four of them. What am I trying to do? Oh, something about the cow skull. What was it? Right. Oh, so it's on her car. Right? Or did she put it somewhere? Where'd she put it? Hey, Amanda. I have kind of a weird question. Do you ever have non-weird questions? <laughs> No. Never ever. I have been cursed by a witch. <laughs> I see. Does true love's first kiss break the spell? Okay. I don't know. I di didn't think the joke that far ahead. <sighs> All right, hit me then. What's the question? Have you had any skulls go missing lately? Wow. Um. That's an extremely specific question. And I can't believe the answer is yes. <laughs> Our only skull, in fact. I'm dying to know why you ask. Because it somehow ended up in Sophie's windshield. <laughs> uh, wait, what the fuck? Are you serious? Yeah. I'm trying to unravel the mystery. Jesus. <laughs> a skull? I mean, have they never heard of a brick? When did you notice your cow got rustled? Literally just this morning, before I clocked in. It had to be sometime last night. Did you see anything suspicious? I mean... The Abraxas kids are perpetually suspicious. I bet it was Loretta. I took up like six tables last night. Maybe one of them saw something. Hell, maybe one of them stole it. Thanks. I appreciate the info. Anytime, Nancy Drew. Uh, that's what I said. Okay, yeah, I must need to go back to the other universe to, ch to check the other skull. Oh, that's just, you know. Oh, look. Doorway Five. Of dead world. Five cuties. Oh, that's just, you know, a doorway to dead world. Okay, let me get back. Oofa doofa. That's gonna take some getting used to. <laughs> you can see two of them in the same shot. <laughs> that's so ridiculous. Okay, let me uh, check this text. Oh, from Diamond. Have you heard from Moses? Let's see. He needs time. Speaking of Moses. Oh, he wants to meet up later to talk. Okay. Ooh, what does Vin want? My gut tells me it's not good news. Because why would it be? Oof. Why is he calling me Sophie?
What? How could Vin mix me up with Safi? Huh? What? This guy's cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Can we text Chloe yet? I'm gonna keep checking this. Maybe one time it'll be like, text Chloe. You know? Vin is a little Whatever sus. With visionary ventures. You applied, right? I sort of... What am I doing? Oh, okay, here's the skull. There she is, safe and sound. Scary. Fuck, size does matter. I'm going to have to find a way to get up there. I'm pretty sure I just saw a stepladder. Where was that? Was it in the other universe? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we can bring items back and forth. No way, it's not like she died on my doorstep. I'm just saying, I wouldn't be able to stop thinking about it. Nosy grad student for this description. Safi came to visit Moses. Snapping turtle staff. <laughs> I'll take this. Come on, mom. I'm supposed to see through your invulnerable mom mask as I age. I like that you took drugs. Sophia, Maxine is here. She's my employee. What? You can have lunch with your employee, but you can't tell her about all the drugs you use. Where's that to? coming from? Legally? Yes. Crazy system is running this country. Where are they talking? Am I losing my mind? Where are they? Where are they? That's freaking me out. Are they, is it the other universe? I'm. No, she, that's they're the other one. She's. I definitely think Vin's funny, Emily. I'm, I'm definitely interested in him. I don't know what that was, but let's get back. Wait, is this the right one? No. Yeah, I'm flirting with both of them right now. I am definitely flirting with Amanda and Vin. Okay. I like uh, Amanda more, though. So if I have to choose at some point. So far, I'm choosing her. Whoa. <gasps> a signature. Is that a signature? Ugh, this is so stylized, I can barely read it. Lucas Colmenero. Lucas Colmenero. Oh, shit. Did Lucas uh. throw this through her window? That seems even less likely than the Abraxas kids. Maybe they were in it together? This doesn't Why make would he... any sense. No, that's stupid. Why would you go throw an object with your signature on it? It's not him. <laughs> That'd be dumb. Red oh, herring alert. I need to think. What is going on? L Lucas is the hot man who is a horrible person. If he keeps his mouth shut, he's nice to look at. But once he starts talking, it's like, oh, this guy. What if it's not just a prank? What if this Safi is in danger too? I just got her back. <laughs> at least I know where to start. Lucas Colmenero and the Abraxas Society. Oh, is he a part of that? Find the skull rustler. Save Safi, <clears throat> hopefully. And my best leads are Lucas Colmenero and the Abraxas Society. 
Wait, I gotta say that about Loretta. Vin's the head honcho of Abraxas. Oh, I Vin's in Abraxas. He's around. All Maybe I do is Vin. I should do a little digging into Gwen Hunter too. She was acting pretty she sure was. earlier. I should cross over and start asking questions. Whoever fucked with Sophie's car isn't just gonna out themselves. Oh. Wait. Oops. Uh. Just about food, okay. Why is our text with Chloe at the top here? <laughs> Annoying, avoid. <laughs> Split zone. Aww. If living Sophie could see this, I bet she'd be mortified. It's all so earnest. Okay, here's the portal. It's like Halloween Town. She's trying to open the portal. Now, if I were a bovine vandal, where would I? There's Vin. If it was the Braxis that stole the cow skull, they might have done it on Vin's orders. If some hot chips don't get you an A, I don't know what will. So I'm in a live world, okay. This world's Vin also seems to enjoy an audience. Honestly, okay, I gotta say he is cute. And, uh, he's just a little annoying. Either. You find it, you bring it right back to me. Well, go! Find it! I have a feeling he's gonna grow on me. Undergrads, <laughs> am I right? Like you were never young. <laughs> young, yes. Dumb, maybe. Insufferable, never. Never is certainly a word. You lose something? Mostly my patience. Okay. Hey, I... Um, yeah, yeah. Cute banter, barely restrained sexual tension. Etc. I'm busy, Max. <laughs> Another time. Wow. Okay. What does Vin have been looking for? Let's say I find your missing patience. Then I wouldn't be busy anymore, would I? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely funny. Speak to Living World Diamond in the North Quad. Wait, where am I? I should see what those Abraxas goons are up to. Is Diamond an Abraxas goon? Oh, there's a lot to do. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, okay. It's, it's just adding to the list. Okay. We have a little list of people we gotta talk to. Oh, she's in Abraxas? Okay. I can probably find Gwen in her office. And I think Lucas has a habit of working over by the cafe. Let's start with the horrible hottie. Hello. What was that? Oh, here's one of the cuties. One of the 10 clones. Oop, there's a portal, okay. Oh. What 
Where? Amanda said Lucas donated the cow skull to the snapping turtle. Where is Lucas? Oh. Let's just look at him first before we speak to him. I don't want to speak to him. I want to look at him. Jeez. Lucas looks exhausted. Too bad. I've got questions. All right. Let's talk to him. Max. What was he up to? Hmm. That was suspicious. Sorry. Busy, busy. Um. Need something? Actually, I... Catherine. I've been waiting for an hour. No, just put Robbie on. Oh, sure. I'm only the boy's father. Who fucking cares, right? How can you say... Whoa. Adds a whole new meaning to hmm. nuclear family. Well, that was about... If Lucas has it out for Safi, there might be something incriminating in that case. Let's break in. Maybe if we tickle him, we can get the key out of him. Is that an email? Dated December 5th. That's when mm. Safi's car was vandalized. I need to get in that briefcase. <clears throat> Thank you, Danielle, so much for 33 months with Prime. Thank you so much, Danielle. Hmm. His notes are great. No wonder his classes are always full. That's ludicrous. Yes, I was a shitty father in the past, but I've never intentionally hurt our son. I would never. Okay, at least he's aware that he's shitty. Sober, well, he said in the past. Years. You still are. What kind of question is that? I'm being hysterical? Me? Wow. That's fucking rich. Put my fucking son on the phone. Me talking to a wall. <laughs> I think he's talking to, I'm assuming, the mother of his son. And I, I feel like they're not together. That's Blame what I'm guessing. Acting really weird the other day. How do I get to his briefcase? He has a He's key. He's not going to be off the phone anytime soon, is he? If we just, like, tickle him, he might drop the key and we can take it and run. I understand this crime involved a not bio hazard. One night, as I was closing the turtle, I went to restock the bathroom and I saw that someone had taken a dookie in the sink. And they left some dookie spirit what is this? Paper on the ground. But who's dookie? And who would go over to the toilet, <laughs> get toilet paper, and then go shit in the sink? This was premeditated. It lit a fire in my passion for justice. And I became dead set on finding the perpetrator. Okay. Oh, maybe in the other universe I can get to his briefcase. That's what I'm going to do. The poop trader. Going to the Nationals. Hey, Rocky. Done any more work on that one? Two Lucases and two briefcases mm -hmm. means two keys. So, do I talk to him? Robbie, I got a split. Uh huh. God, he's just I love so you too, buddy. handsome. Weird. This yep. Lucas seems to be on great terms with his uh, family. Oh, yeah, the call's hey. so different over here. That's interesting. Bye. Lucas. Huh. Max. Can't imagine it would be much fun to assassinate my character without an audience. I meant what I said. I wasn't going to stand by while you used Sophie to pump yourself up. Wow. I never had a chance with you, did I? Not with Sophie in your ear. She never really mentioned you. <sighs> I find that hard to believe. That 
That's... a lot of books. A lot of my book. Signed copies for the Burlington Book Expo. They invited me to deliver the keynote this year. Have you seen the standee they put up of me? <laughs> Can't say I have. Huh. Yeah, I might have to reposition it then. I can't really make fun of him because I have one of those of myself. The Expo really declined over the years. We've had a lot of mediocre Yikes. visitors. This dude can talk. It's a shame. <laughs> How am I going to get that key? Years and years Read. and years, people still love the characters. Oh, crap. I forgot. I, what time is it? <laughs> I have to go give something to Moses um, before his class. Good luck with the book expo. Right, it. But we got to distract him. If I were Lucas, what would grab my attention? Huh. I bet Lucas would really hate if something happened to this. <laughs> now, what can I use to do some permanent damage? I don't know. Going to swap again? Dare I channel my inner Chloe? Ah, uh, Chloe mention. Channel my inner Chloe. Now, how exactly do I want to get under Lucas's skin? Let's give him a black eye. K.O. Your winner and still heavyweight champion of the world, Max <laughs> Caulfield. <laughs> oh my goodness. Who would do a thing like Take this? Take that. We beat him up. Someone should tell Lucas right. Keep that, that yapper shut. She returns. I take it you've delivered your something to Moses? My something? Right, my something. Yep, something <laughs> delivered. So, not to be the bearer of bad news, but somebody really busted up your face on the book expo standee. <laughs> Are you serious? I just put that. Come on! Some people just have no respect for other people's property. Come on, stupid marker. <laughs> All right, let's <see> back. <clears throat> All right, let's sneak in there. Take a little peek. Look who it is, cutie. I think that's cutie, cutie number four. This famous book. So that explains the cow skull and the snapping turtle. But does that mean he's the one who smashed his oh, okay. windshield? Hey, Maddie. Yeah, not you, Lucas. <laughs> Seriously. Lucas was with his agent last night, not the snapping oh. turtle. He couldn't have vandalized Tom's I already, car. I, I wrote him. So, who did? I wrote him off immediately. Why would you, if you were going to vandalize someone's car, why would you use an object that has your name written on it? <laughs> you know what I mean? So, I didn't think it was him. No point in looking through Lucas's stuff now. Satisfying. No, like I'm not done. Lucas was an AA? Good for him. Oh, good for him. I thought that was like a pirate coin at first. <laughs> like a doubloon. So this is how the literati spend their free time. 
Bombshell revealed. Is Jessica having her ex-best friend's fiancé's baby? I don't know. That's all we can do? Oh, wait, what was... Lucas okay. was with his no agent point looking last through night. Lucas's stuff now. Not the snap. That damn cow skull again. Who threw this fucking thing? Huh. Did Lucas go to a gun huh. range? What's that Does about? Does Lucas have a gun? I feel like Lucas is just like the red herring, you know? Like, they're trying to be like, throw you off. That's definitely not him. But he may, he might know something or be involved still. His agent tells him where to park, but what does Lucas Colmanero do? Park where he wants anyway. He could know something and be involved. Is that all of it? Guess this Lucas didn't get a chance to put this up yet. Oh, that's the cardboard cutout. Okay. All right, guess we're good. Sophie? What? What? Restraining order? What? Followed, monitored, or surveyed. Threatened or made threats. Maybe I bet she had a good reason. What? That's... That's crazy. Lucas has a restraining order against uh, Sophie. Huh. Is Lucas really trying to file a restraining order against Sophie? Does she know about this? Oh, he's. Oh, it hasn't I happened yet. Show her. He was. Okay. Max? Oh, him and his what son? <laughs> Lucas, this isn't. You can't tell her. What? That. You can't send that Sophie looks... that photo. That looked horrible. <laughs> Let me explain. Us <laughs> with our phone Please. out. That may have been the funniest shot of the game so far to me. <laughs> Briefcase wide open, us with our phone, and him walking up. Catherine. My ex-wife okay, called here. last night. Mad as hell. Because Robbie... Our son was repeating back to her things I supposedly told him. But I never. I mean, I could never. The shit Robbie says I told him, it, it, it makes me sick to think about. Any chance your ex was exaggerating, trying to twist the knife? Catherine's a lot, but she loves that kid as much as I do. Is he saying that she wouldn't use him? Sophie like that? taught this kid bad language. Is that what he's trying to say here? He told her, I said he was the reason for the divorce. Oh, and somehow that was the least fucked up thing I'm purported to have said. This still doesn't explain yeah, the confused. restraining order. I wasn't even there that night, Max, but someone said those things to my son. And you think it was Safi? Listen. Safi once threatened to turn Robbie against me. I know she's capable of it. But Robbie didn't say it was Safi. He said it was you. I can't explain that part yet. Maybe he didn't say that exactly. I don't know. Catherine will let me talk to him. And none of this has anything to do with what happened to Sophie's car? Something happened to her car? Never mind. Forget it. Look. I know she's your friend. I know you have no reason to believe me over her, but... Just give me a chance to get this shit in order first. Without her interfering, I just want to make sure my boy never has to hear anything like that again. This could all be a lie. 
One big smear campaign against Safi. But, oh, what if it's not? I feel a little confused. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god, a big decision too. Okay, wait. I think we know it's Safi because the other timeline, he and his son are fine. The only difference between the two is Safi isn't there in the other one, to be honest. But what, okay, so what Safi told his son that he's the reason for the divorce? Is that what's happening here? I don't feel like I have enough info to make a big decision right now. What, it, what is he accusing Safi of? Well, I feel like regardless, I'm, I mean, I'm on, I'm on her side, so I feel like I should send photo to Safi. He thinks Safi says stuff to his son. Robbie thinks Lucas said he was the reason for the divorce. And Lucas says he never said that, and he thinks Sabi told Robbie that. Oh, okay, so... Okay, I'm, I'm getting it now. Okay. So wait. What's the photo, though? He's saying that Sofi tried to manipulate his son. Okay. Oh, the restraining order. Right, okay. I think it's illegal to keep photos of others' legal documents. He thinks Safi ruined their relationship. Safi once claimed she could turn his son against him. Okay. Um. <laughs> well, shoot, I don't wanna... My instinct is to just send a photo to Safi, but like, what if that, it, you know, backfires and gets us in legal trouble or something? Robbie said it was Lucas. I don't know what to do. The thing is, I definitely, at this point, I'm not suspicious of him as like the as like the suspect the murder the murder murderer this it's too obvious with the red herring stuff he's just kind of like a scummy guy but i i can't figure out what these consequences would be i can't like think yeah i believe the kid too i'll just delete it i feel like it's just going to cause issues we don't really need to deal with like we're just tr we're trying to figure out Sophie's murder right now, and maybe keep her alive in one in, in all this. I feel like this isn't a big deal in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, I'm just gonna delete it to be safe. Okay, I deleted it. <clears throat> this is between you and her. None of my beeswax. Thank you. If I can't find any evidence to back this up, I don't even know. At least I have time to look. Like, I just, I don't know. This is kind of irrelevant, you know? It's, he's scummy, whatever. We have bigger things to worry about. I think about. I've wrung all I can out of Lucas today. Should try Gwen's office next. Yeah, I think he's checked off the list. Let him deal with his own problems. All right. Let's go figure, let's go talk to Gwen. Oh, you give me a second. There she is. <laughs> Surely another minute and a half isn't going to taint the building with my presence. Just leave everything behind, Professor. That's true, Emma. You won't need any university materials. Yeah, but I do need my car keys if you want me to leave the campus, don't I? Think. You're not to return to Caledon property before the hearing under penalty of law. I know how this works. Wait, what's going on? You don't need to read me my rights. Just doing my job, Professor. That'll go over great in Nuremberg. This is crazy. This is fucking crazy. I told Yasmin already that none of it's true. She knows it's fucking bullshit. Wow. This is all just I guess some something kind of crazy screwy is going thing. down here, too. But at least. Yeesh. I wonder what that was about. 
Huh. She was just kicked out. Yeah, was she fire or something? So this Gwen just got escorted out by security, while Dead World Gwen is having hushed phone calls about the police and trying to break into locked bookcases. What is going on? Time to snoop like I've never right. snooped before. I'll have a good snoop session. Whoa, Reggie got an A minus? Loretta doesn't seem like the type to be happy with a B. I can lower Loretta's grade. <laughs> she deserves it. You reap what you sow, Loretta. Probably just why I added a minus to it or something. Oh, Your other Loretta, aren't you? Oh well. It's she seems to be what did we make it? With the way they hustled Gwen out, I don't think these do B minus. <laughs> That's funny. <gasps> Do I have to go in a certain order? I guess first message. Gwen. Gwen. If you're screening your calls, pick up. Claudia. I just got an email from Boss Bitch. And the phone is ringing off the hook. Boss Bitch. What the fuck is happening? Babe. Babe, pick up the phone. I'm sure it looks worse than it is. Just come home, okay? We'll figure this out. What? Um, Dr. Hunter? This is David from Intro to Nonfiction. Um, I saw the notice in the lecture hall that your classes are going to be canceled for the rest of the semester, and I just wanted to check up and See if you're all right. I mean, I'm sure you're fine, but I don't know. We're all kind of worried. Okay, um, bye. Hmm. Dr. Hunter, by now, I'm sure you've checked your mailbox and the contents enclosed therein. Please understand, this is a courtesy from one working woman to another. I don't want to hear excuses or lies. I'll have to ask you to leave campus until we can get this whole thing sorted out. Good day. What? You would never do... What? Gwen? What is this about? You asked me to put me on an unpaid leave pending a disciplinary meeting. I'm not supposed to talk about the details, but if you hear any rumors, please know I would never do this. I'm not stupid or desperate. Um, huh. Gwen canceled her weekly meetings with Safi? Why? What is going on? Almost a full cup of coffee. Gwen's wife, Claudia, Aww. I think. I met her at a faculty event last They're month. They're cute. Gwen fucking adores her. I feel like Gwen's innocent. Damn, talk about a green thumb. I had decided I would hitchhike across the country. If I still wanted to die when I got to the Pacific, then I could do it peacefully. Hell of an opening line, Gwen. Oh, Gwen posted on social media.
What? Oh, plants. It's like a bumper sticker evolved into a bookend. Is that the possum from Amanda the Adventurer? Fiction, <laughs> nonfiction, poetry, plays, bunch of scenes. Is there any? These emails are from way back. Like, before Sophie knew she wanted to be a poet. <laughs> to Gwen from Sophie. Okay, these are just... I knew Gwen mentored Safi, but I didn't realize she was this involved. <laughs> so Gwen is asking questions about Safi's death. Hey, R, did you see Sophie at your poetry group on, fr on Friday night or at all over the weekend? If so, did she seem off? Did she mention getting any news? Leave your answers in the book and return it to the library. I don't want anyone to know I'm asking questions. Thanks, all you forever. Huh. Saw Sophie at poetry on Fry and for coffee on Sun. She seemed fine. Seemed happy. Didn't mention any news. Not that I heard, at least. Is everything okay? This is all kind of freaking me out. Why would Safi have started acting off on Friday? Something must have happened. Find out what happened on Friday. Dr. Hunter, I appreciate your condolences. You know I do, but I'd prefer if you didn't contact me for a few days. There's a few things I need to get in order. Whatever the case, I'll see you at the staff meeting. You should get a call from Vin later today. Yeah, so wait, who was she, is that important who she was talking to over here? Thank you, Alex, for the five stream streak. Thanks for watching. Yeah, who's R? Do we know an R? What was the, uh, wait, was it more than RL415. Rachel, Rachel Lamber. Rachel Lamber. That's who it is. Oh, it could be Reggie. Let me wait for this ad to finish before I play the, play the messages. I didn't really have one started. Let's review our R names. So we know we have a. Yeah, is it just Reggie? Hmm. <laughs> okay. Hey babe, just checking in on my favorite workaholic who won't take a single bereavement day. Love you. Take care of yourself, okay? I'll see you tonight. Oh yeah, I think there was an R name that left a voicemail in the other other world. Hi, Professor Hunter. This is Vin Long from Dr. Fyatt's office. I'm just calling to confirm an all-hands staff meeting this afternoon in the second floor lounge in the administration building. Attendance is, unfortunately, mandatory. Gwen, I hope you didn't. I'm not sure if you should. I don't know. Just, I wouldn't blame yourself. 
What? I'm not getting any info I feel like that I need. Why would Safi have started acting off on Friday? Something. That must have been some call with Maria on Friday. Gwen even planned out a time to follow up. Uh, okay. I did read the emails, yeah. Water the plant? What plant? Oh. Drink up, buddy. How serene. This thing looks older than Caledon. I feel like I've looked at everything. Oh, what's this? Between Gwen and me, I bet we've road tripped most of the country. Caked up Mothman, goaded with the sauce. <laughs> Happy Halloween. God, why didn't I trade travel stories with Gwen before all this? How am I supposed to find out what happens happened on Friday? Do I leave the office? No, not yet. Okay. I doubt I'll ever get a chance to look around Gwen's office like this again. Did I? I feel like I did everything. All right, Hacker Max. Oh. Let's go. Search. Oh. Sent. Okay, never mind. To Maria. Uh, enter. Wait, this is Safi's publisher. Gwen got Safi's book canceled. What? Yeah, they're pulling her book. Why? These emails are from way back. Like, before something new. Those are already read these. I. Huh. I thought Gwen helped Sophie set this all up in the first place. Why would she? No. This all has to add up. Somehow. She's just a red herring, y'all. It's okay. Like, we wouldn't be finding out the... the bad guy in Chapter 2. You know? She's sus and up to something, but she's definitely not, like, the, the main villain, I feel like. Ooh, what's this? If Safi was an undergrad... This reading must have been at least, what, four years ago? So we gotta talk to Diamond still. All right, North Quad. Is that out here? Nope. Yeah, I guess, I mean, some of the characters could just be involved in what's going on too, but not actually have been the murderer, so you never know. Amanda was like, sorry if I was holding you. Just don't be a stranger, okay? <laughs> Why can't you say, who is this? <laughs> I'll say I won't. <laughs> who is this? <laughs> After all that. Okay, they're, okay, we still have a chance, Amanda, in both realities. Oh, wait, no, we're friends on the other one. Never mind. But we can still we can still get her back. Okay, where is Diamond? There she is. Waiting for someone, Diamond? Mm-hmm. 
Moses. He asked me to help him carry snacks back to the lab, but I guess he forgot. Isn't that kind of menial for a TA? So my job is menial now? I didn't. I'm fucking with you. <laughs> and I don't know what that word means. Nah, Moses probably just got distracted off polishing his new telescope. If it were anyone but him, I'd ask if that was a euphemism. <laughs> Those Abraxas kids are really staring, huh? Pointless, okay. That one on the left is super into me. I danced with him once, once at a club last week. He's a cutie. He's cute. I get it. I guess, if that's your vibe. Not requiring much <laughs> My skill. sights are set a bit higher. Besides, they're on the clock for Vin now. Nope. Probably trying to catch me in unabraxis like behavior. He's just standing there. <laughs> Why you? Why are they focused on you? <laughs> Vin's shook. I'm an actual threat to his reign if he can't abide competition. I think Vin's lost something. It's clearly rattled him. I'll, uh, go ask the goon squad. Good call. Hmm. It's like an ex -fill. They have our man and he... Hey, so Diamond told me she doesn't feel comfortable with you two staring at her. You tell me what Ven's looking for and I won't tell him you're skeeving on a fellow Abraxas member. Good talk. There has to be some way I can hear what they're I saying. I should see what those Abraxas goons me. are up to. Huh? What just happened? What did Vin put these guys up to? Good talk. Investigate them. Uh. Do I need to pull up my magnifying glass? Like, what does that mean? Are there more? Are there more goons? Or maybe the other, maybe the other reality? Let me, I bet that's it's it. The dynamic that the author was aiming for. The author. <laughs> uh, what did Ben put these yeah. guys up to? Let me see, there was a thing over here, I think. A portal. Vin seems really distracted. Whatever he lost. Maybe I talk to Vin. Uh. Is that them? Maybe that's him right there. Vin's lackeys aren't in this world. Oh. But I might be able to hear them from this side. Holy shit, someone took Vin's phone and they think it was Diamond. I can use okay, this. Okay, Gagaloni. It's fun having powers. Okay, let's get back. Cool, this is fun. I like this power. Art student prank or horrifying Mysterious creature. Mysterious footprints. The world may never know. Nothing like a fun mystery to get you out of bed, huh, guys? Okay. So. If you're wondering why those Abraxas <clears throat> kids are eyeballing you, it's because someone stole Finn's phone. Oh, seriously? <laughs> they think it was me? 
<laughs> the clownery. <laughs> of course they do. Of course. <laughs> so, did you? So, was it you? <laughs> Here I was thinking they didn't let artists and residents join Abraxas. I'm not. And any... yet you're over here digging through my business on Vin's orders? Take it, that's a no. That's correct, Max. I didn't steal Vin Lang's she phone. took it the wrong way. I, th I thought we were joking around here and having fun. She got mad at me. <laughs> You don't exactly strike me I'll as the okay. typical, uh, Abraxan. In the Vin Lang mold? God, no. But the org itself has potential. If we could just get him away from it. Okay, we're back in track here. You ever think about being, I don't know, Abraxas boss? <laughs> Queen. <laughs> High priest. President. I would love to. So, are you and Vin rivals? Enemies? We gotta find Vin's phone. To hear him tell it? Both. And to hear you tell it? Vin is... One of those yappy little purse dogs <laughs> who swears he's a pit. I like Diamond. She's funny. She's cute, too. Okay. Sorry I accused you. I thought we were joking around yeah. there. Thanks, Diamond. And hey, if you talk to Vin again, tell him the only thing I'm taking from him is his crown. Okay. Yeah, I like her. Okay, we'll put back to Vin. Whoa, that's crazy. Where are all the photos? I've Sophie gotten told one. me the campus would be gorgeous for the holidays. I'm glad I oh. actually get to <laughs> there see we go. here. That's my handwriting. Wait, am I the mystery photographer? Huh? Diamond a gazillion points, ready hero. I thought we said no more ambushes. Stop whining, you're fine. But the snowball war got called off in Dead World. I don't think this is the other timeline. It must be some other one. Another timeline? What else? Two's enough, okay? I wonder if the artist who made this lived in Halogen House at some point. I don't want to miss any any Polaroids. I feel like I should have three by now, not just two. Oh well. Let me look over here. If Finn stops focusing on Diamond, maybe he'll answer some questions. I love the endless running. So, bad news, I'm not sure who took your phone. Good news, it wasn't Diamond. Holy shit. You figured all that out with like... Yeah, I've got powers. Yep. I just knew who to ask. And how. I eavesdropped through a different portal so, dimension. about my question. I'm free Tuesday after <laughs> seven and I'm partial to a Japanese single malt. That's whiskey? <laughs> yes. But damn, do I have so much to teach you. So your place or mine? <laughs> it's a little smirk. <laughs> he cracks me up. I'll take that. Cute. And at least... A little tempting, but that's not what I was going to ask. Ooh, no fun. 
So, someone fucked up Sophie's car. They didn't take anything, but they used a cow skull <clears throat> to do it. Jesus. Max, that's crazy. Is she okay? She's fine. Who would do something like that, though? You mean, who in Abraxas would? Honestly, my mind wasn't even going there. I didn't say that. Yeah, we didn't say that. No, but it's what you meant, isn't it? Anytime some nonsense happens on campus, people trip To be honest, you said it. Abraxas. I wasn't even thinking that. Vandalism, destruction of property. So if the shoe fits. Max, we're performers. Smelt it, dealt it. The audience wasn't impressed. That's how you know it wasn't us. And besides, how do you even get a cow skull through a windshield? You throw it. Hold on. I didn't say anything about our windshield. Oh. Wild, right? Mm. Ooh. Mm. I'd love to keep chatting and freezing my balls off, but I've got a phone to find. And if I need to reach you? Hmm. I'll end up in my office eventually. <laughs> he, cra he cracked me up. The way he and says things is delivery. What do you do? Speak to Living World, Vin. So am I in... Oh, this is Living World. Okay. I need to go back in there. Yeah, I think only Max and Moses have powers in this one. <clears throat> Since Moses, Moses can fast forward time. Yeah, okay, when is it going to... Finn's back at his desk now. I still have questions for that guy. We need a Life is Strange, like, team-up game where all the people with powers from the universe and Life is Strange come together. You know, we've got... We'll have Max. We'll have... I forgot everyone's name. It's been so long. Who's the boy's name in Life is Strange 2 who has powers? We'll have the girl in <laughs> True Colors. What's up with names? Everyone with powers teams up. Daniel. Alex, Life is Strange, in game, And then, of course, Moses. Vin should be back in the admin building by now. And Chloe in her mouth. Because in Before the Storm, the power of the game was Chloe's mouth. So Chloe can talk her way through situations, you know. Yeah, we're back talking, yeah. <laughs> Oh, and Rachel's weather powers, yeah. She'll just be resurrected. That would be cool, though, if, like, even just, like, two of them teamed up in a game. That'd be so cool. Time to follow up with I could see Alex and Max doing that. Slip. Let's see if I can't make this canary sing. All right, let me focus, though. Ooh, you know what? I bet there's a, a Polaroid in here. I haven't really been in here yet. Is that a therapist's business card? I'll bet some folks on the other side could use that. I really hope that's just coffee. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. It's like, is that pee? <clears throat> yeah, maybe there's a town where Rachel's alive, you know? Vin's probably back at his desk. I know, I'm looking for Polaroids. Dignity restored. Okay. Jim Polaroid. What? <laughs> the mustache That's menace. Cool. No Polaroids in here. Although, let me just...
Sorry, guys. I, I gotta collect them all. I can't leave any polar That's behind. That's the bottle I've seen our fearless leader open this afternoon. I'm going up there with or without you. I have to see it with my own eyes. See what? Okay, I don't think I see one. Much about. What's this? This must belong to someone flashy <clears throat> and forgetful and cold. Hey, you found it. Kudos, Max. Sorry to startle, just. Oh yeah, he got found. That was good luck finding it so fast. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. I... <laughs> what? I'm such an idiot. I just left it on my desk. It's been that kind of day. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Did something happen to your phone while it was lost? Huh? Oh. Um... No, it's fine. I just can't get it unlocked. Fuck. It's gonna lock if I get it wrong again. What was that all about with his phone? Wait. You can't remember your own We code. overheard the passcode. <laughs> I am, like, extremely hungover. You're lucky I can remember who you are. You seem fine out on the quad. I set the code to the year some old fucking magician scientist died. Slipped my mind. Magician scientist? <laughs> a Braxis shit. I must have thought it was cool at the time. I, can you just... I don't know. Um, what is going on with I'm him? I'm my best right now. Clearly. Sure. Vin is definitely yeah, hiding something. Yeah, he's a horrible Getting into that upper. cell phone is my best shot at finding out what. Ma Too hungover to remember Max a loves to snoop. Jeez. Good thing I know another Vin. Ooh. Okay. I'll be back. Here for a Polaroid. Of course, I know what they're doing. My grief isn't affecting my brain. No, no, no. Don't tell them that. No. Nope. I think we all feel a bit busted sometimes. <laughs> I'm into that, Max. Okay. I love her thoughts. Pick a card, any card. Oh, are those oh, actually tarot cards? I thought you were kidding. Cool. Other pose was better. Go back. I guess that'll do. Oops. There we go. Honestly, good picture. Fucking shit. <laughs> oh. Oh. Max. <laughs> it's just you. We scared him. Huh? What can I do you for? <clears throat> These are both strange options. Are you drunk or are I... Let's say that. What do you mean, it's just me? Well, <laughs> there are a few people, for instance, who I might hesitate getting workday slosh in front of. You, Miss Caulfield, are not one of them. Thanks. I'm flattered. I love our beanie. 
join me? How many of those do you have? Ooh, just don't check the recycling. <laughs> Is this about Safi? Safi, Safi, Safi. Everything is about Safi nowadays. This isn't about Safi, Max. This is about you and me. Right. Come on. Uh, illicit day drinking with your coworkers is sexy. Be sexy, Max. <laughs> I'm not sure if I like that. I'm not sure if I liked that. But I want to keep things going, so. I guess I'll be sexy. Far be it for me to pass up an opportunity to accrue more sexy points. Oh. <laughs> uh, measuring sexiness with imaginary points. Not sexy. <laughs> Minus five sexy points to me, then. <laughs> Shouldn't we be hanging out on the train tracks? That's where all the kids drank in high school. <laughs> <laughs> You're from the Pacific Northwest, aren't you? What's that like? Damp. A little damp. Occasionally torrential. What did you do when you weren't drinking on the train tracks? Took pictures, mostly. And? I swear, I'm not that interesting. <laughs> I, I don't believe you. <laughs> hmm. I like you, Max Caulfield. Oh. You feel haunted. What? <laughs> Don't worry, it's good. <laughs> Man, do haunted. all of y'all hate him? Are there, are there anyone who likes him? Maybe on TV. In real life, haunted people have to live inside their haunted brains. Yeah. <laughs> they do. Don't worry, I'm definitely, Amanda, if, if the choices are him and Amanda, Amanda is definitely end game for me still. He just cracks me up. Let's lead him on, let's lead him on a little bit. I actually really needed that. Mm -hmm. Plus, you know, we can Thanks. all be some allies. Sharing is caring. <laughs> hey, uh, Ben? Can I ask for something kind of weird? I don't do foot stuff. <laughs> Damn. Well... There goes my Friday night. <laughs> Vin does owe me a favor. I thought this is an important decision here. Ask for a favor now or save it for later. Oh, wait, we've tried to get you his phone. Let's just do it now. So, remember that favor you owe me? Yes. Um, it can be anything, right? Anything but foot stuff. <laughs> Let's hear it. I need your phone passcode. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, you know I can change it once you leave the room, right? I'm not giving you my phone. That's fine. I don't need the phone. Just the code. What's this? Like a, like a power thing? Forcing sweet virgin boys to give you their passcodes? Fine. Suit yourself. It's one, nine, five, two. I guess you really did forget it in the other one. Thanks. He's a hoot. He's funny. Let's lead him on and we'll see where it goes. Plus, I enjoy y'all's reactions to him, too. It's, I'm not going to lie. It's funny. Ooh, can we look at the tarot cards? What do they mean? It's called a three-card pull. This one represents my past, the magician. 
It means I'm exceptionally talented. Well, <laughs> you already knew that about me. He cracks me up. Thank you, Baked Beans, for 34 months. I appreciate it. My present, the Nine of Wands. Upside down like that, it means I'm exhausted, feeling vulnerable, and, well, guilty as charged. And my future, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, AKA the fuck around and find out card. I think I'm about to the find out. The butterfly and the owl. The butterflies, you know, was a symbol before, and I feel like the owl has been a symbol in this game. That's cool. <laughs> Foreboding. Fear of the future. It's the spice of life, Max. He is a hoot. In my experience, we tend to cause the exact thing we're Let's trying to Let's keep him around for a good laugh, you know? Where were you last He's week? He's a comedic relief. Okay. We got our code. Let's get back. I guess other Vin was looking for answers too. Oh, the cards are different huh. here. The cards are different here. Aw, what a cute little Aww, guy. that is cute. Huh. This, this one's, one's not, not broken. broken. An acting award. He won a drama award. Shocker. Okay. I hope this is the right code. Success. Okay, really, what's this phone then? I'm sorry, Vin. I know this is a brutal misuse of powers, but I need to know if you had anything to do with this. Food pics, food pics, mirror selfie, mirror selfie, shirtless let's mirror see, selfie. Let's just take a look at the shirtless one, maybe. Okay, keep swiping then. Sophie. Oh. Sophie. Sophie. Huh. There's a lot of Sophie in here. I didn't get the impression they were close. Oh my God. Wow, that is really close. Whoa. Huh. Who even were you, Sophie? That's a gag. Maybe that's why he knew about the car. Oh. I really thought I could help. Poke around a little, figure out who has it out for Safi. Bada bing, bada boom. Case solved, right? Why else would my powers come back? Stupid. Now I have more impossible questions than I had to begin with. Lucas filing a restraining order? Vin and Sophie sleeping yeah, together? Yeah, I have so many questions now. Gwen killing Sophie's book deal. I have no idea what any of it means. I'm with you, Max. You know what? We'll figure it out together. And the worst part is, I can't even talk to you about any of it. Am I chopped liver? You can talk to me about it. I won't be able to save you. Again. Whatever I do, it's going to turn out worse than I could even imagine. Get the fuck off me! I can't breathe. What? What's going on? Oh, not Everyone Loretta. stay back. Give him some space. Oh, he's having a panic attack? He's having a panic oh. attack or something? I'm not I... fucking crazy. 
I know what I saw up there. All right, an authority figure has arrived. Sort of. Nothing to worry about. What did he Let's see? Give him some space. Which world? I keep, I keep forgetting which world I'm in. We're in the... Sophie's dead world. Poor guy. I know how that feels all too well, buddy. You okay, Reggie? <laughs> Am I okay? Fuck. <sighs> After what I just saw up there. Reggie, up where? <sighs> the fucking overlook. Yes, I know. I shouldn't have been up there. I'm a fucking idiot. What the hell? Reggie, what the hell? That's an active crime scene. I know, okay? I oh, know. Just that I'm not mad. But you said in your seminar, take photos of things that scare you, so I... God, fuck. That's... touching. If a little misguided. Okay, what'd he see? What'd you see? Now, you want to tell me what you saw? I like his piercing. I saw myself. Oh! Another me. Does he have powers too? Walking around, working on the puzzle box. The, or did she like the one that I gave you do something? Earlier. What did this other you want? I wasn't gonna fucking talk to him. I fucking ran, Max. Uh, did you tell anyone what you saw? Did you tell? Whoa! Oh! Loretta, thank you. Can you take Reggie to the infirmary? Sure thing, Miss Caulfield. I'll see you later, yeah? Just make sure he's all right. Thanks, Max. What have you done, Max? Wow, that's cool. Time to go back up there. I can handle this. He's not just going to let me by, is he? Hello? Hey, I think I left some equipment on the Overlook. Can I? Sorry, miss. This area is secured. Active crime scene. You'll have to wait. There must be a way around this guy. Well, in the other universe, he's not there, so... Let's just do this. There's no way around that cop without getting spotted. Better start heading up to the Overlook. Hope there's a place to cross back over on the way. Di Diamond's username is Shine Bright Like a. <laughs> I love that. Shine Bright Like a. <laughs> Wait, are the other notes updated? God, this is, I keep, this is so hard to navigate. There's so many buttons to remember. I'm gonna get to notes, okay. a lot like Sophie's favorite candy, but hers is called Sour Cats, not Heartstoppers. This goes against everything I learned in horror movies, but I should check for more weird shit. From here, I should be able to make it up to the Overlook. Thing. Well, 
Where is it? Oh. Hello? Hello? This is Safi. Yes, this is Safi and Lil Fayad. Speaking. Shit! <laughs> I know you. No wonder Reggie had a panic attack. Any more unexplainable things that Universe would like to throw at me today? See something, say something, right? I swear, if these owls could talk. If I tamper with it, the cops will know. Girl, you could easily Might be in jump or crawl under that. Be real right now. But I'll do the portal. We're getting so many messages and posts. I hope he doesn't think we're BFFs now. Oh, look who it is. Last time I saw this Gwen, she was being escorted out of the building. I should ask her about- Hey, Gwen. Oh, it's a joint. I thought it was a cigarette. Sure. Thanks. <laughs> Careful there, Pineapple Express. Shit. Did pot get stronger since I was in school? Before I came out, I had this boss. A free thinker. Who adopted his worldview wholesale from shouty YouTubers? YouTuber Yikes. mention. And a raging transphobe to boot. The brainwashing our kids, blah, blah, blah. Of course, I was afraid if I said something, said anything, he'd figure me out. But. When I was alone, I could conjure the perfect soliloquy to shut him up. Make him feel as small as he made me. Isn't there, like, a special word for that? In French, right? L'esprit de l'escalier. The wit of the staircase. I take it you're acquainted. Oh, yeah. That one's a Max Caulfield greatest hit. Point is... I've always been able to think of something to say eventually. Is that a Please lighter or USB? Something like that. Oh. Quinn, what is this? Video proof. Allegedly. From Yasmin herself. About what? Trafficking of a controlled substance on camp. Hold on. There's uh. no way Yasmin thinks you were selling drugs. How could she not? That there is security footage of someone who looks like me dealing to students. Someone who looks like you? <laughs> Did it appear from another reality? This is such bullshit. Can't you fight it? Fight it? How? <laughs> that wasn't oh me, God. it was my evil twin. <laughs> no. 
No. Uh -oh. Fuck it. What have we done? They've already made up their mind. What have we, we done? Thanks for believing in me, Max, but I'm sick of fighting to prove I deserve to be here. Oh. Hmm. Lucas shouting at his son. Reggie seeing himself here in the other timeline. Is Gwen another victim of doppelganger itis? <laughs> or is she just trying to cover her ass? Doppelganger if itis. I could look at that footage, maybe I could figure it out. Gwen? What are you What are you doing? Saying goodbye. And Fuck you! To Caledon. To Yasmin. And feeling powerless. Oh. I thought we had it in our Gotta hands. Gotta take catharsis where you can get it. Whoa. Oh. Oh, I thought this is a really big decision here. I mean, it would be... It really would be so crazy. Like, imagine yourself in this situation. To, to then jump into the trash when the fire is going on after she had like a moment to take the footage out. It all depends on how Max um, acts though. Like is she like, we need that to save you. I don't know what to do. Okay, cause last time she just got so mad at us, you know? Oh, hold on, this ad's about to roll. Let me snooze it. Right, Emma? Sometimes I'm like, oh, this is fine. And then and then Max will, like, do something silly to ruin it. To ruin it. <clears throat> yeah, I don't want her to hate us. <laughs> That's my, my stipulation with it, because she got so mad at us before. Just, I know if I click save the footage, which I want to, I'm leaning towards save the footage, but I know Max is going to like dive in there and grab it and Gwen's going to be like, what are you doing? And she's going to get mad and storm off. But she's about to leave anyway, right? She just got fired. She said, she's like, I'm done trying to pretend like I should be here or whatever. So she's going to leave anyway. What the fuck? Gwen, listen, I if I can it. just get a look at this footage, I might be able to help. I, I didn't ask for your help, Max. Jesus, I didn't even ask for your help. I knew company. she'd get I mad. I get stoned and watch that thing burn. Whatever. She's leaving anyway. Whatever. I'm trying to help. Do what you want. It's too cold for this shit. Well, we got it. Gwen, wait. I need to ask you something. You know what? She's already mad at us. Let's get answers. Why did you kill Sophie's book deal? Were you going through my computer? <laughs> what? No, she... She told me, but not why. Jesus. <laughs> no answer! Whatever. Now, let's see if I can find what Reggie Maybe saw. Maybe we can see how deep he he saw. the hole is with Gwen we can dig. How deep can we dig that hole with her? <laughs> Goodness. Wait, what am I supposed to do? Oh. I want to watch the footage. Did something used to be here? I can't remember.
Is this like where it happened? Oh. What the fuck? Oh. <sighs> oh, Miss Caulfield, you uh out for a stroll too? Not her. Loretta. Isn't there somewhere else you could be right now? I'm sure there is, but nowhere as exciting as this place, huh? How did you even get past yeah, the Yeah, I officer? had to use my powers. How did you? My powers. <gasps> Holy shit, what are those? You can see those? Yeah. Annoying avoid. Do you think this is what Reggie saw? No. He said he saw himself. Another Reggie. God. That would have messed me up too. I was gonna come up here anyway after the suicide tip, but... Seeing Reggie like that... I don't know. Made it feel real. Wait, suicide tip? One of the B cops let it slip. You run a successful podcast for a few years and you find ways to get people to open up. That's just ridiculous because it was she died from a gunshot and there was Speaking no gun. Of how can they how up, can you say suicide? I got a lead. I could cut you in. Why like why was that why is that even an option for the police? That's silly, I feel like. Right, there was no gun around. Here, I'll say what's the catch. One second I'm a source, and the next I'm a fellow investigator? <sighs> Sounds like there's strings attached. No, it's not like that. I just... I feel like yeah. I kind of owe you after you definitely the whole owe me. Dr. Hunter thing. Maya Okada, one of Safi's classmates during undergrad. They were friends. Then, Maya died a couple years back. Suicide, apparently. Are we being watched? Why'd she look around like that? Safi did not, it wasn't suicide. That doesn't sound like it has anything to do with Safi. Maybe not. I don't know. It's weird, though. You dig through Safi's life, and you inevitably end up running into... Maya. Explain something to me. Why is this so important to you? Safi was my friend. Because I hate it when things don't make sense. Who's that from? Moses, emergency. I have to go. Okay. Loretta's turning over a new leaf, it looks like. Still annoying. Avoid. But at least she helped us out there a little bit. Or I thought that info wasn't very helpful, but she thought she was helping. <clears throat> I, am I missing something? Why, why is suicide being considered? I don't understand that at all. She clearly was shot by a gun from somewhere from someone else. I don't understand that. Cover up a rumor, maybe. Yeah, it could have been like a rumor that was started and got out of control or something. Oh well. I got your text. I tried calling, but he didn't pick up. It's cool, Max. Everything's cool. It's not cool, though. It is not. Poor guy. I like him a lot. So what's the damage? TLDR version? 
pretty sure I'm the number one suspect. What? What? Why? That's just silly. Besides that being true for most of my life. You're my... N What's the opposite of number one? You're like my 100th sub suspect, Moses. I'm not even thinking about you. Well, I did... I did do something. We were with Moses when it happened. Like, he's literally... I took Safi's camera. So? I know. What's so bad about that? They're friends. Oh, was it from the crime scene? But why? <coughs> Moses, why? That makes sense. It wasn't like a rational decision. I wasn't thinking. Okay, just, okay. When we found her that night, that makes sense. I saw the camera. And I thought the last picture she took in her life oh. was that selfie of the three of us. And Safi would never want to have that camera, that picture, in the hands of the fucking police. Uh, we need to protect so I him. Back to my office. And then I realized. What the fuck am I doing? It's evidence in a murder case. So I just hid it in there. In my office. Moses. I screwed up. Max. Can you? There's a very no, easy know. lie out of this. All right. Maintenance tech is on his way. To They're best friends taking selfies together. He could have just been like. Oh, I was just, I, I just, it, I took, I was, <laughs> I can't even say it without stuttering, but you could be like, I was just, um, going to develop the camera or go upload them depending on what kind of camera it is. You know, you should be like, Oh, I was just taking the camera home to upload the pictures. Unlock your office, Mr. Murphy. Then I'll just have a look around inside. Shit. I've got to get Soppy's camera out of there somehow. Unless you have a key card. Miss Caulfield. Yeah, oh, she left it with us. Uh, I was going to go charge it. Like, this easy lies out of this. And you are? Sorry, I don't think we've been introduced. Mr. That's Detective. Detective Vince Alderman with Vermont State Police. I'll be handling your friend scary. Sophia's case from now on. Sorry for your loss, by the way. So, is there some kind of problem here, Detective? Max, it's okay. Not a problem. Slight hiccup. Mr. Murphy, apparently, gets his key card quite often. That's true. He does. Miss Caulfield, I do need you to leave the area for the time being. Will you be okay? Mr. Murphy will be fine. I'll come back. Promise. <laughs> time being okay. mentioned. Now's my chance to get into Moses' office. Luckily, we've got powers. Where's a place I can shift to the other timeline? Ooh, I bet the the Polaroids in here. I mean, the, maybe there's not always three. They're locked. An alderman would hear them opening. I need another way. I bet it's gonna be in his office. I'm just going there. Maybe I can find a way into Moses' office from this side. Can we not just walk in? Oh. New post from hey, all we do is Vin. Maybe this Moses can help me find the camera. Oh, hey Max. Man, that's annoying. How do you stand it? You'd be surprised how quickly you get used to it. I think they call that Stockholm Syndrome. 
<laughs> uh-huh. So, what's up? Actually, I need to ask you kind of a weird question. My favorite kind. Name it. Kinda left field, but <laughs> if you were gonna hide something personal in this lab, where would you put it? If this is about my dream diary, trust me, you'll never find it. I'd never bring it to campus. Okay, maybe not that personal, but remind me to come back to that. Not on your life. What is your most prized possession? In here, at least. In here? Uh, probably that mug. My sister made it for me as an early Christmas gift. Oh. Oh. That's sweet. Remind me not to get you any mugs for Christmas. <laughs> Okay, name something in here you wouldn't want, say, Dr. Fire to find. Like, something I keep locked away? Yes, yes, exactly. That would definitely be my electric kettle. <laughs> Maintenance has no idea where I hide that fire hazard. <laughs> As I live and breathe, Moses Murphy, rule breaker. <laughs> rule bender, Max, rule bender. Anyway, <laughs> what's with all the questions? Oh. Moses? Need me to hold something, or can I help somehow? Actually, yeah. I need an Allen wrench. On it. Um, got one around here? No, I borrowed one from Carla, but I think she took it back. If you can go grab that from her, I'll owe you. Okay. Okay. I can't go looking around for Carla. I need a faster way to get Moses a wrench. That's still annoying. I need to get that Allen wrench, and I need to be quick. <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh. Yay, there it is. Uh, what? Bitch, you did not just... Relax. It was a picture of the mugs you two were drinking out of. Good. Ugh, oh, I would rather murder all my students with my bare hands than grade one more final. Oh no. Were you two up all night? Yeah. And I'll be working on these astronomy finals until sundown. What I'd give to be pulling an all-nighter grading papers instead of all of this. All right, we gotta find Alan. It hurts to look at this. Oh, was that? It hurts to look at this. Uh, that was the meteor shower they were watching on the night it happened. It does hurt to look at that, you're not wrong. Where's Alan? Oh, there he is. Better give this wrench to Moses. Does no one ever see that? <clears throat> like, how did Moses not just see a portal open from another dimension right there? Better give this wrench to Moses. There you go. So I found this guy named Alan, no. but he didn't know anything That's about funny. a wrench. No, Max, not literally Alan. It's... <laughs> oh. <laughs> you are a lifesaver, Max. Dad joke aside. I'll never apologize for my dad jokes. Same, Max. And you're welcome. Mural goes here. What's that about? Safi's baby. 
She had the bright idea that we should draw the Gemini twins up there. Why haven't you? You know Safi. She has like a million little projects half started everywhere. Anyway, I'm sure we'll get to it at some point. We have all the time in the world. So, did you want some tea? Um, yeah, if you don't mind. W with the contraband kettle, right? <laughs> okay. We found his hiding spot. Another key we gotta take, though. Just give me just a second. Sure. Get it. Get the key. So the cabinet is a secret hiding spot. Got it. Let's hope the other Moses hid the camera in the same place. All right. See you later. That's good, man. Oh, my God. Stop. <laughs> All of Moses' friends are nerds, huh? No wonder he gets along with me so well. Thank you, Ellen Cognito. I love that username. So much for two months with Prime. Thank you so much. Love you too. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. This is right. It's, it's hard to keep up with the different timelines. It's hard. Wait, wait, what? What cabinet was that? Oh, uh, was it over here? No. What's that? Back in this corner? Let's hope oh, the okay. camera's in that cabinet. Okay. This note wasn't here in the other timeline. That can't be a coincidence. Is this where he hits off his camera? Under safe. Come on! How long does it take to bring a damn key? Okay, the camera might be under a safe. Where can I find this safe? It hurts to look at this. Safe. I bet it's upstairs. Let's see. If the tea kettle was a fire hazard, I guess a heat lamp is out of the question. My birthday gift to Moses. I could tell how badly he wanted to say, but the moon doesn't emit its own light for astronomers who hate the outdoors. There is a ladder. Hmm, maybe it's not up here. What safe? I don't remember ever seeing an yeah. actual safe in this office. This must be for working on the mural. Oh, check the kettle. We can go back in there, I don't the think. The one time Moses chooses not to be extremely detailed. I can't go back in. Moses said living on his own for the first time was harder than the... Aw, Maggie's cute. They're all cute, really. Aww. That's definitely a safe. Sure. Look under the poster of the mech with a safe for it. I'll just look everything. C On a good day, that 3D printer would be making all kinds of cool stuff. Moses was so excited when this came out. I think he bought seven copies. I feel like I understand this now. Maybe I've gotten smarter with age. 
Safi was going to help put up the ornaments. I can do it for her. This must have been dropped off while Moses was out. The maker of this mug sure knows her target audience. I bet Moses knows something interesting about every one of these stars. Hello? Yeah, do I go back? Is he not here anymore? This is pretty impressive. A lot more complicated than I would have thought. Oh, These are cute. I hear, I hear Moses typing. Moses' sister must have visited. Okay. Will it distract you if I talk? Should be fine. What's up? Another strange question. Um, you don't have a safe in here, do you? The locking kind? No. Are there non-locking safes? Well, for a second, I thought you were asking about the star safe. S-A-I-P-H. Oh. There's a star called safe. Sure is. It's a part of the Orion constellation. Oh. What the? You've been popcorned. <laughs> <laughs> Engineering wants a prank war. <laughs> I'm trying not to sink to their level. <laughs> Gonna go clean this out. So Moses hid the camera under a star. And of course, there are stars everywhere. That's still annoying. Who knows what Moses was thinking? I might as well try any star. Safi was going to help put up the ornaments. I can do it for her. Maybe Moses was thinking of safe when he drew this? At least Moses hid the camera well, wherever it is. Was that you? I thought I heard something. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> Probably in here. Oh, maybe not. Right. Because that would have been too easy. I bet it's upstairs. That's like, a, you know, it's further away to get to. projected some stars to use as a guide. Okay. Moses said safe is part of Orion. Maybe Orion was projected on the wall that night. I need to set this up exactly how Moses had it when he was drawing. Whoa. Uh. Okay, Orion's belt. So let me look for a belt. These are these the two people? I think oh. I got it. Okay, I did it. Fingers crossed, I can find safe on that wall. Cool. Okay, there's Orion's belt. So if this is Orion, then safe is boom. Good job finding safe, Max. 
Why, thank you, Max. We found it. Now then. Oh. Oh. There it is. <gasps> oh, no. No, no, We've no. Gotta grab it and switch universes. Avoid detection. Oh my god, we're playing Shit, until I can't dawn let again. Him see me in here. Can we get can we get the camera? Shouldn't we just do this? I'm so close to getting Safi's camera. If I can just distract him for a few minutes, I think I can grab it. I'll need something noisy. Oh, that ornament. Hey. And then I'm gonna go upstairs. Good thing I can keep an eye on Alderman from here. And I don't wanna show up right in front of him. Do this. Oh wait, yeah, is he up here? Let's make sure. No, he's not. Okay, let's do this. This is a fun power. I love it. It's basically like teleporting. Here goes. What the hell? And now I need to shift out of here get fast. Go. Time to finally get what I came here for in the first place. This is exciting. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. I have to push this? Hey, is someone down there? Stupid telescope. Why couldn't Moses have put you together in this timeline? What's going on? What's going on? Why is it glowing? What? What, what the, the actual fuck? fuck? <laughs> Whoa. That's... That's new. Go get it. Yes! Get out of there. I'm so nervous. Phew. Can you get caught there? I feel like you can, right? That was nerve wracking. Oh my god, there's blood all over it. Okay, maybe you can't do the lies I was saying before about, oh, she gave it to me beforehand and I was going to develop it. <laughs> so never shit. mind. The telescope and all the parts switched places. Oh, whoa. So she can like... Touch something and make it shift and swap to... Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Gotta run. Sorry, I... I'll text you. Yo. What? Is she telling him about her power? Oh, he walked in and saw the telescope. Moses. That it was gone or something. We did it. Ha! Miss Caulfield. Can I speak with you for a minute? 
You should go. Please. Have a seat. Uh oh. What's this gonna be about? I just wanted you to have a chance to talk to me alone. Because Miss Llewellyn was a close friend of yours. We have a sensitive situation. I think we slipped the camera in. We know Miss Llewellyn's camera was taken by someone closely uh, linked Moses to Pocket, I'm not mistaken. Now, I'm pretty certain I know who took it and why. Maybe you've even guessed my thinking. But if we're going to make any progress on your friend's case, that's not enough. Therefore, I'm asking you, if you have or come by any information about this person or where they've taken the camera, can I trust you to let me know? How does he even know about the camera? Miss Caulfield. How does he know about the camera? Because Moses took it before the police came off of Sophie's body, right? How does he know that she had a camera on her? Also, I'm surprised this is a big decision. I feel like I feel like you should just agree and to just take it and be like, okay, whatever. But you know, obviously, I'm not gonna ever call him, right? They probably couldn't find her possessions. I mean, obviously, I don't want to ever call him, and like, ref like I, w I want to refuse, but that'll just piss him off and make us look suspicious. So. Sure, of course. If I notice anything, I'll let you know. I'm glad to hear it, and I'm sure Doctor Fayed would be. Grateful I mean, we're literally the one who took the camera, so we're not going to call him and. Direct. Number. Say we did it. <laughs> no detail is too small to share. You're, you're not bothering me. You're helping your friend's case. Thanks again for your time, Miss Caulfield. Have a good day. See, now he's not suspicious of us, so. Okay. Moses, I want to show you something. We don't okay, maybe we did have the camera still. Oh yeah, we did still have it. <laughs> well, are we gonna tell him? <laughs> but she's just standing there holding it. <laughs> Well, I wonder what's on this camera then, besides the selfie. Okay. Let's download Sophie's photos yeah. into your computer, yeah? I want to see them. Or... You go ahead. I need a minute to get my thoughts in order. I'll join you soon. Okay. Wait, is that... <gasps> Wilder Beasts than These by Lucas Colmanero. Oh yeah, I want to watch the Gwen's Figures video. Figures there'd be copies all over campus. Might as well add it to my collection of so-called clues. I picked up so many things today. Best lay it all. Max, you dashed out in a hurry. Is most okay? Loretta, please chill. She was just nice to us. I don't want to piss her off. I'll just say just peachy. That's funny, though. Ugh, she's got a sixth sense for bugging me at the absolute worst time. 
all out and see if it gets me anywhere. We have a new post from Victoria Chase. Let's check it out. Whoa, look at her. My long-standing advice, never meet your heroes. That kind of letdown can hurt you if you're not careful. Victoria, I still have not forgotten that you tried to drug Rachel. But I'm happy you're alive and well out there. Oh. oh. <laughs> she blocked me. <laughs> Oh my god, a new Chloe post! Look at that! Look at this, you guys. How exciting. Chloe posted on Crosstalk. I've been to Prague, Vancouver, Buffalo, but my best memories of snow were back in Arcadia Bay during the holidays with my family. And Victoria said, I understand how you feel. I barely have any old photographs of our holidays together. The storm took those too. I wanted to get the fuck out of that place so bad, and now I wish I had a home to go back to. The shitty irony doesn't escape me. That was a sad combo, but how exciting just to get more new things from Chloe. All right, anyway, what were we doing? I gotta lay out the evidence. Oh, I figured we'd be done. Oh my God, Max, how many of these movies are there? It's a horror franchise, Sophie. They don't get good until at least the third one. The real horror is that they found a way to make three of these. Five, actually. So is this the one where they finally explain how he's still walking around with no head or? Before she died? Moses was more Sophie's friend. Here, we're all thick as thieves. Wish we'd had a chance to get to this point in our world. Am I going up here? What am I supposed to do? Lay out the evidence. Where? Is it in the other, uh, the other timeline? I can't give up of where I am. Oh, right here. Okay. Okay, Max. Let's see what we've got. This was meant to be a loud message. But from who? And what does it mean? Still don't understand why yeah. Chloe would do this to Sophie. Especially what is since this about? she helped her get the book deal in the first place. While I do want to see this so called incriminating footage uh, of Gwen, okay. it's probably best to wait till Moses leaves to check it. Hope you have a better day tomorrow, Naomi. Hope you feel better. I know Vin and Abraxas are entangled in everything that's happening. I just don't understand how yet. Lucas, I really don't think he's the one who smashed Sophie's windshield. But there's clearly more bad yeah, blood here so than I knew about. Hey, Purple. Yeah, here I am. Did I go through everything? I probably shouldn't leave all this out in the open. Maybe if I step away for a bit, these will all make sense later. Hope Moses is doing all right. I should go see if he's gotten Sophie's camera hooked up yet. Oh, wow. 
I guess I haven't been home in this world for a couple days. It's like a time capsule of the day Safi died. Weird. We took in a little liquid courage before the bowling alley shoot. Safi's insistence. Well, mostly Safi's. Yeah, there isn't a double max. That's what's crazy. Everyone else has it. But I guess since she's the one that's doing it, that makes sense. It's been a minute since I exhibited in a gallery gallery, but Dr. Preston was excited about working together. Is anything here important or is it just like cool to look at? With Safi alive in this timeline, I... I don't even know what to put here, if anything. Hmm. Okay, are, there's too many posts. Are these important? You're welcome, Gwen. It was me. Okay. Where's the dark room? I really want to see what Sophie captured on her camera. see too there's gotta be something crazy maybe she got a picture of the murderer right before it happened Moses you okay is it weird that I'm low-key nervous about seeing Safi's, no, that's, you know, I would be so anxious. Final pictures. Far from it. Safi was special to us, to everyone. But I meant, are you okay? Okay. Adopt a cat? What? I miss adopting a cat. I've been better. I apologize for what I said to that detective. Oh. You have to know I wasn't being serious. I was only trying to... Take the easy way? It's nice when you have that option. Oh. Uh -huh. You know what? It's fine. I didn't realize he was listening. It's fine. What's the deal with the cat? Hey, look. Oh, it's only the ultimate edition. Okay. Maybe seeing Safi again will help clear the air. Oh, uh, it's for the DLC, huh? Hard to believe. Oh, the cat! The last time we were all together. Oh, here we go. That's the truth. What a crew we were. Oh. Her final photo. Hey, look. She took one more photo. Sneaky girl. Oh. Well. Show it! What is this? Max, you... What? You killed her? <laughs> what?
I mean, we're only in chapter two. I mean, we have it's, it's what five chapters, so that, that clearly isn't like the answer. It's something weird going on with all the timeline warps, I'm sure. Of course not. What? No, of course not. So that, that. It's Photoshop. A deep fake, maybe. I don't know. You sold me out to Alderman. You were covering for yourself. No, Moses. Please. AI has gone too far. Where's the option to say that? Let me explain. Or try to. We were with him when it happened. Well, I have powers. I have powers. I have these powers. <laughs> Time powers. And somehow Safi's death is related to those powers. No. Wait. No, believe me. I can us. prove it to you. That's how we got your camera. You stay the fuck away from me. No, uh, come on. <laughs> we were with him when it happened. I feel like ugh. he'll come around. What is this all about, though? Maybe Max thought she was shooting someone else and the timelines are some kind of warp thing and it went through another one and shot Sophie by accident. Yeah, whoa, if they had found the camera, they would have arrested Max. I wonder if I had refused the detective's card if Moses would have believed us there. I didn't realize that was a big, that big of a deal. I feel like you see it in like movies and TV shows all the time where... You know, there's like the annoying cop. They're like, call me if you see anything. And you're like, okay. You just take it to appease them. You know? But. That was a lot of info. Okay, most people delete the photo. Most save the footage. I thought that was going to be a rare one. Oh, most refuse here. I guess I didn't realize Moses was eavesdropping and that would have affected him. Oh, I didn't help the assassin kids. Oh, I didn't sign up to get platypus facts. Shoot. Oh, most people don't tell Loretta about what Reggie saw. Huh. These are interesting to me. So, huh. I'm definitely gagged. That's that. That was a great. What a great cliffhanger, huh? I definitely did not expect to see Max right there. All right. If you're watching on YouTube, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you with chapter three. What the? Literally, what the hell is going on?